Good morning, the Prime Minister has announced that rapid antigen tests will become free for millions of Australians, but despite some reports, not everyone is eligible. During a press conference held following National Cabinet, Scott Morrison said select concession cardholders will be able to access the tests for free over a three-month period, with COVID-19 cases rising nationwide. However, despite some social media reports made just minutes before the press conference, the rats will not be free for every single Aussie, with millions still having to pay. After previously saying they should be affordable, opposition leader Anthony Albanese said on Wednesday morning that they should be made free for everyone. New South Wales reported 35,504 new cases yesterday, a new record for any Australian state or territory, while Victoria recorded 17,636. This was the scene in Melbourne's northeast on Tuesday afternoon, with dozens lining up in their cars for a PCR test. It does come after a person in Western Sydney suffered a medical episode while waiting in line, with a drive through clinic closed as a result. The NT yesterday recorded a new daily record of 117 COVID cases, with 21 people in hospital and one in ICU. NT Health Minister Natasha Files told reporters that there were 29 cases of community transmission and added the NT was now past the point of lockdowns. An indoor mask mandate is currently in place across the entire territory. Overseas now, the US has recorded 1 million new daily cases, setting a global record, with President Joe Biden continuing to urge people to get vaccinated. Biden says more rapid antigen tests could have been ordered, but could take months before they were widely available, repeating what he said last month, declaring that it continues to be the pandemic of the unvaccinated. The US has also doubled its order for Pfizer's antiviral pill that authorities say prevents serious illness and death from COVID-19. And staying in the US, former President Donald Trump has counseled a press conference due to be held on the one-year anniversary of the January 6 Capitol riot. In a statement released on Tuesday night local time, Trump said that in light of the total bias and dishonesty of the January 6th Committee of Democrats, two failed Republicans and the fake news media, I am counseling the January 6th press conference, which is set to happen at his private resort in Florida. He added that he will instead discuss many of those important topics at his rally on January 15 in Arizona. Tomorrow marks one year since Trump supporters stormed the Capitol in an attempt to stop Joe Biden's election win being certified. Back home now, Glenn Maxwell has become the latest Big Bash cricketer to test positive for COVID. The Melbourne Stars captain is the latest player in the team to return a positive result, with Adam Zemper, Joe Burns and Joe Clark also unavailable for recent matches. A team spokesperson told The Australian that Maxwell returned a positive rapid antigen test after the game against the Melbourne Renegades and has since undertaken a PCR test and is currently isolating. The Stars were forced to call on local cricket players to field for its team for its last two matches, but a number of their main team may be able to return for the next game pending on test results. Checking in with today's weather forecast now right across the country, thunderstorms expected 27 in Brisbane, heavy rain 25 in Sydney for day two of the fourth Ashes test, also 25 in Canberra, believe it or not, 25 in Melbourne as well, 17 in Hobart, a chance of showers 21 degrees in Adelaide, getting up to 36 in Alice Springs, 33 and sunny in Perth, and in Darwin, a warm but also wet top of 32, so expect wet conditions across large parts of the nation throughout the day and for most the rest of this week. That's it for mornings this Thursday. This, yeah, this Thursday. Thanks so much for tuning in. Leo will, of course, be back uh, on Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. For now, though, I'm Darby Travers. Thanks so much for your company. Have a good day.